Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a great weekend, especially with uh, the holiday. I had a little bit of time, and so I want to share this, just a, I don't know, call it a proof of concept or whatever you want to call it, but I've shown LTE Sniffer in the past. The difference this time is I want to show it running with two USRPs on a different branch of the software that will allow me to look at the downlink and uplink of a LTE cellular base station at the same time. I'll point it out right up front. The um, LTE network, the UE, all the information is my own. Uh, this is really just for security uh, research. Uh, nothing is being done to a real network, although this you know would work within the limitations that LTE sniffer, excuse me, LTE Sniffer lays out on the uh, page here as you read more about it. But uh, for the hardware, I'm using it's an older desktop computer with two Signal SDR Pros plugged in via USB 3. There's a you know quite a bit of processing power on the desktop. Uh, nothing nothing um, changed as far as right out of the box the Signal SDR Pro. I will point out one was donated to me. Uh, the other one I personally um, purchased from the hackers uh, hacker warehouse and I have uh, GPS antennas attached to both what made this kind of unique and the reason why I decided to go ahead and test this with this is that they each have a GPS DO inside which uh, provides PPS for the time stamping or you know getting uh, uh, timing all uh, uh, in sync between both uh, you know, especially critical for the uplink and downlink of, of what we're about to do. And then the ref, uh, reference clock, too, was in there. So that's what I'm using hardware-wise. The branch that I have checked out prior to this video was the multi-USRP branch. The only thing I had to change in Dragon OS Noble to compile this was I temporarily installed GCC 11 and uh, exported some commands to the terminal to use GCC 11 just for the purposes of compiling this build that is still uh, behind uh, main by quite a few uh, commits and let me think what else the only thing that I had to change was modifying the source the LT sniffer core file so if I look if I come two level directories up here, look at source, source, LTE sniffer core. Uh, I'm in nano right now. I do a control shift underscore and go to about line 179. All I had to do was add the serial number for each signal SDR Pro. The fact that it had GPS DO was perfect. I compiled the code, which gave me a binary with that information built in. Another thing I found interesting, just to show that there is two uh, plugged in, you don't have to change any bin file from uh, the stock bin that's in Dragon OS. Uh, you know, unlike what you have to do with the Libre SDR, you can see there's two plugged in. Uh, in the this particular directory here on Dragon OS is a sync to GPS uh, program here, an example program. I just told it the clock was GPSDO told it the serial number and we can see that you can test each one and you should get a uh, you know once the lights are blinking on the signal SDR Pro which indicates that it does have a GPS lock we can see that both my reference and the, the GPS information is locked so that's a good thing we are let me switch back to the main because I just want to point out what we're about to do here we're pretty much set up. I have my own LTE base station. We're going to look at the general uplink sniffing. So um, there's some limitations here. I am going to do a, a security API, a, particularly of a uh, type, th yeah, three. So it turns on three functions of the sniffer, which is for identity mapping, MZ collecting, and profiling. What else? Uh, there's some notes for uplink sniffing. 
there's probably uh, some other limitations that it points out when you go to the multi USRP branch you can read all of this there's uh, let's see right around so limitations here you can see where just the success rate gonna be lower than the USRP I won't be surprised if I have to run this a few times even during this uh, video to get uh, the result I'm looking for but let's jump right into this so I have LT sniffer set up as you see right here I'm telling it the downlink frequency is 2680 the uplink is 2560 again there's that dash Z uh, 3 so we're going to turn on all of the security API when I run this you're going to see that both uh, both SDRs are engaged and um, and so they should come online and sync to the LTE base station There's going to be something about the, the reference clock source. I'm not concerned about that, but there we get a sync. And then what we're looking for is once a UE, UE you know, first connects, and I don't know if we're going to get it this first time. If we do, that would be pretty lucky. But here in a second, we should get a connection. There we go. We got a connection. Come back and take a look here. And so that was pretty lucky that time first time connection of the UE this is of course all my own equipment uh, in 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 this instance it's actually two additional software defined radios uh, that are a part of this network one is the LTE base station and the other is the UE so that's why that MZ looks funny like that because I can program it to what I want it to be but there shouldn't be any difference here uh, whether it's software defined radios or a real phone you can see what the end result is so I know that was pretty quick I really just wanted to kind of highlight what is within the realm of possible and I probably will think about it a little bit more come back to see what else uh, can we do with this type of setup but that's my first time I think using two individual USRPs uh, you know with UHD sync together like this I thought that was pretty interesting but anyways uh, figured I'd share it with you all and yeah thanks for watching let me know if you got any questions uh, in the uh, in the comment section thank you